What if I told you that creating a perfect world could lead to our downfall? In the 1960s, scientist John Calhoun built a mouse paradise. Unlimited food, water and space, no predators, no disease, a rodent utopia, but what happened next will shock you to your core. Instead of thriving, these mice descended into chaos. Violence erupted. Mothers abandoned their young. Some mice became hyper-aggressive, while others withdrew completely, refusing to mate or socialize. In just four years, this mouse paradise became a living hell, ending in total extinction. But here's the kicker. Calhoun believed this experiment held a chilling warning for humanity. Are we headed down the same path? Stay tuned as we unravel the disturbing truth behind the mouse utopia experiment and its haunting implications for our future. High above the bustling streets, in a world of his own making, lived a man named John B. Calhoun. He wasn't an architect or a city planner, though his work often resembled those fields. Calhoun was an ethologist and a scientist who studied animal behavior. Calhoun was fascinated by overpopulation and its impact on behavior. He believed that unlimited resources and overcrowding could lead to a phenomenon he termed the behavioral sink. His experiments, often referred to as mouse utopias, aimed to test this unsettling hypothesis. Universe 25 was no ordinary mouse cage. It was a meticulously crafted habitat, a rodent Shangri-La. The habitat was divided into 16 equally sized sections, each a self-contained unit with all the amenities a mouse could ever desire. Each section had ramps leading up to cozy nesting boxes, offering a semblance of privacy. Connecting these sections was a network of tunnels and ramps. Life in Universe 25 was meant to be easy. Food was available in abundance, dispensed from special hoppers. Water flowed freely from cleverly designed water bottles. Disease was kept at bay, and the mice were healthy specimens. The habitat was regularly cleaned, ensuring a pristine environment. Into this rodent Eden, Calhoun introduced four breeding pairs of mice. Eight pioneers poised to inherit a world of limitless possibilities. These were the healthiest, most genetically diverse mice. Calhoun observed their every move, documenting their interactions and breeding patterns. Little did he know, his creations were about to write their own story. In the beginning, life in Universe 25 was idyllic. The eight founding mice explored their new digs, mapping out the intricate network of tunnels and ramps. They sampled the endless bounty of the food hoppers and tested the water bottles. With no predators to worry about, they were free to indulge in the rodent version of wine, dine and recline. Calhoun, peering into his creation, must have felt a surge of scientific satisfaction. The mice established territories and built nests. Social hierarchies began to emerge, with alpha males asserting their authority. The population graph curved steadily upwards. This initial phase of growth and adjustment lasted for about 104 days. The mice had known no other world, their every need met. But Calhoun knew that this idyllic existence couldn't last forever. He had seen the data and knew that the population would soon outstrip the resources. He waited for the cracks in this manufactured paradise to appear. The first signs of trouble were subtle. The food hoppers became sites of competition, with mice jostling for position. The once clear social hierarchy began to crumble. Phase two of Calhoun's experiment was a period of explosive growth. Every available nesting box overflowed with pink, hairless pups. The population graph began to resemble a mountain range. The once spacious habitat began to feel the strain of its burgeoning population. The mice adjusted to the increasing density, their behaviors shifting in response. The walls 
of Universe 25 seemed to close in tighter. The food hoppers became focal points of tension. The social hierarchy began to break down, replaced by a more primal struggle for survival. The females bore the brunt of this population explosion. Motherhood became a relentless cycle of nursing, protecting, and fretting. Some females began to exhibit disturbing behaviors, neglecting or attacking their young. The young mice faced their own unique set of challenges. Deprived of the opportunity to learn normal social behaviors, many grew up to be withdrawn and aggressive. They were a lost generation, their behaviors shaped by the unnatural pressures of their artificial world. As Universe 25 reached its peak population, a strange phenomenon emerged. The exponential growth plateaued and the mice had reached a tipping point. The behavioral sink was now in full effect, squeezing the life out of their once harmonious existence. Thank you. 
one sip at a time.